Cute handbag, but the quality control is a little concerning. Hello my friends, Jetron is here. We are back with a new handbag, yes. Now before you say anything, I did not buy this bag this year. I bought this handbag last year back in September, but I just never got around to show it to you guys or talk about it because there were other videos I wanted to put out more. <laughs> I have been using it for a couple months and yeah, I have some thoughts. Also, let me tell you, there were some dilemmas, there were some issues when I first bought this handbag and I definitely want to let you guys know not to make Make this mistake if you decide to get this and the bag i'm talking about here is from mark jacobs this here is the leather mini tote bag and i'm pretty sure you have already seen this on the internet youtube or you probably have already purchased it because this bag does have a bit of cult following to it now before i do get into the details and my quick rant of this bag let me give you guys a brief history of this entire collection so we have to go back three years ago back in 2019 when Marc Jacobs released this new collection called the Tote Bag and instantly they became super popular because of the versatility and the style. These bags were made up of cotton canvas material and it came in three sizes, the medium, small, and large, and it does retail for $175 USD. Now personally for me, I decided not to buy it just because for that price point, I'd rather get like a full leather bag. However, you guys know with manifestation, it always works for me. I did manifest them to sort of make this style handbag into full leather versions. Fast forwarding to 2021, I think around March or April, Marc Jacobs did release the same tote bag but in full leather version and I scream because I was like, finally, they listen to my prayers. <laughs> I almost bought it when it first came out. I did stop myself because I knew I could save a little bit of money if I just wait a bit, you know, and that's exactly what I did. So moving on into September of 2021, Bloomingdale's was having a sale going on. I was able to save a little bit of money and not pay full price because you guys know, I try not to pay full price for anything. <laughs> it was the perfect time to buy it. With the history and background of me buying this leather bag out of the way let's get into some of the details of this bag now currently this bag does retail for 375 dollars usd but with the discount codes and additional cash back i was able to save about 80 dollars on this handbag so i end up paying 292 dollars which hello i'm gonna take it that is gas money that is grocery money so i'm glad i waited and not paid the full price the leather version of this bag does come in two sizes a mini and a small but don't let the name fool you because i don't know when i look at this bag it does not look like a mini version it just looks like a small bag right the version small is literally like a briefcase i was able to see it in person and oh my god it looks like a luggage <laughs> like i don't know who would carry that on an everyday basis the bag is just too big in general and I don't recommend that size and also don't forget it is full leather so the bigger the bag the more heavier it gets be prepared to have some arm workout because again super heavy the tote bag is made up of a natural grain leather feature a deboss signature logo which is the color gray on the back side there is a patch that has the information of the brand the location and the year it was founded so i do love that cute little touch that mark jacobs add to the bag it does feature two top handles which sadly does not fold down it does come with an adjustable and removable leather crossbody strap which we do love and the entire bag is made up of gold hardware it does have a zipper closure which by the way the zipper is super smooth probably smoother than some of my expensive handbags when you do look inside the bag is very hollow there is one slip pocket in the back which is made from a cotton canvas and there is sort of like a mini pocket in front of the slip pockets I don't really know what you can really put in there maybe some loose coins I do think it's just there for aesthetics wise the dimension of this bag is 10 inches in length 8 inches in height and 5 inches in depth obviously the color I picked is in the color black because black goes with everything and also I do love the combination of the black and gray. They do offer other colors such as argan oil, twine, rose dust, true red, 
and cement which by the way stay tuned towards the end of this video because i will be showing you guys the color cement in a demo video i shot earlier okay pause for a bit i have to talk about the leather again it is so freaking nice it feels so soft and supple almost kind of like buttery like i can kind of almost go to sleep with this bag like it's that soft if you have never felt a mark jacobs leather bag i highly recommend you going to a department store and touching it because you're probably going to fall in love like i am right now now on to what fits in this handbag obviously it fits so much you can definitely fit your wallet your key holder phone battery pack and phone charger sunglasses and case plus a little mini pouch like the nolito and also a water bottle it really does fit all your everyday essentials plus you can probably put in more if you want because there are still more room surprisingly it doesn't weigh as much as you would think compared to other leather handbags out there in the market we're back with another mod shot and this is what the bag looks like on me i am about 5 8 in height and as a shoulder bag it looks pretty good Good. this leather strap does have a total of five holes and i do have it on the second to top it is a very lengthy strap if you do use it on the last hole this is my preferred method of carrying this bag it just looks like a nice you know crossbody bag i really love it. it gives it like a messenger style vibe a little bit obviously if you do not want to wear it as a crossbody or a shorter bag you can definitely wear it on the crooked of your arm or as you know handheld going around town since we're already here let's quickly compare it to the louis vuitton speedy 35 in the bandolier version and as you can see this bag is definitely way bigger than the tote bag and another comparison is between the keep all excess from louis vuitton this here is definitely much smaller than the tote bag moving on to some of the dilemmas of this handbag oh my goodness you guys it's literally a story of itself here it is i bought this bag three times yes you heard me right i bought this bag three times and you might be thinking why did you buy this bag three times was there something wrong with it yeah there was something wrong with it when i first ordered it i did record like a little demo video before i returned it just you know for proof the first version of this handbag when it first came i was so happy i was so excited and when i opened it boom the first thing i saw was part of the stitching was a bit crooked and oh my goodness i don't know why but my ocd just kicked in i don't care if i'm paying 20 dollars for a handbag 200 or 2000 but if that stitching is way off or it's not aligned or up to par you best believe i'm going to return it now i did do a little bit of research and i was looking at other people's unboxings and pictures on instagram and it seems like this style bag the stitching isn't supposed to be perfectly aligned but i I don't know for me i'm always i need it to be straight and level if we're paying close to 400 dollars, why would you make it not even i just feel like it's weird knowing me i decided you know what i'm just gonna order another one because i can't let this go i ordered the second one and when the second one came thankfully the stitching looked better however when i would put the handbag on the table or like a hard surface i noticed it kind of was leaning a little bit I decided to look at the base of the bag and guess what surprise surprise it was a little bit uneven and i know what you're thinking oh my god this bitch is so picky why are you so picky again if i'm paying close to 400 dollars, 300 dollars in this case i want the bag to look perfect am i wrong for that i was getting a little frustrated and i was like all right maybe this is just how the bag is supposed to be i told myself i'm going to buy this bag the third time and just to test my luck luckily this here is the third bag and i have to say it is magnificent perfect like i don't see anything wrong with it the only thing i can definitely point out is probably the back side of the bag here the stitching is sort of kind of curvy but i can live with it just knowing that it's not as the first one where it's like wobbly wiggly so yeah third time was definitely the charm and i'm so happy i didn't settle for the first or the second and i went for the third <laughs> so there's my crazy story <laughs> before i do end this video and give you guys my final thoughts on this tote bag i definitely want to show you guys another color i purchased which is in the color cement and oh my goodness cement looks so gorgeous unfortunately i don't have this bag with me anymore because i did end up returning it and i will tell you why but obviously i did record a little demo 
demo video before I shipped it back to the warehouse. Marc Jacobs literally nailed it when it comes to this color tote bag. It has a little bit of brown, it has a little bit of grayish, and a slight hint of purple. It doesn't look too light and it doesn't look too dark. So I do think it just works out as the perfect color tote. Now when I did take it out of the box and I kind of wore it around, I kind of realized it didn't really match with some of the things I do wear. So I decided, you know what? Do I need two of the same handbags in the same style but different color? I probably don't. So that is why I did return it. If you are looking for a nice everyday neutral handbag, cement is the way to go. I do think it does look really lovely and it probably will go with a lot of your outfits. Overall, do I recommend this leather tote bag from Marc Jacobs to you guys? And I have to say, I 100% do. I freaking love this handbag. It is so nice. The fact that it fits a lot of your essentials, it goes with a lot of outfits, the leather is super superior, and the price point isn't so bad compared to other fashion luxury houses, I 100% recommend this handbag any day. I've encountered two bags that didn't look up to par, as I mentioned in my story. So if you are in the market to buy this tote bag, just make sure you look at every details. Again, if we're paying this much money for it, I definitely want you guys to have the perfect ones. If you're not as picky as I am, then forget it. Just buy it. You will not regret it. So <laughs> there we have it. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you are planning to purchase this bag in the future or if you already purchased this because I know some of you guys have. How has this bag been holding up for you and did you notice any boo-boos here and there? So let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear from you guys. But with that being said, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up because it will help me in the long run and of course i will talk to you guys soon in the next have a great one bye